guys. Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to talk about this inexpensive power station I've gotten. It's called a Engine Star and it is a 300 watt little device here. And I picked it up because I have several uses for this in my system. I don't normally do power stations and I don't talk about them because I only talk about what I use. I don't know if it's a new product on the market or not, but it's definitely new to, new to me. I call it little because it's about the same size as my cat. It is seven and a half inches high and it's about nine inches wide and it's very light. It only weighs about six pounds and it's portable. And it has a built-in lithium battery, which I think is going to end up being very useful to me. It has a cigarette lighter, of course, adapter. And it has several DC here. It has a 12-volt, and it has a 24-volt DC. Its input is right there. You can use the plug that they sent you. Let me go ahead and show that to you right here. plug they sent you or you can plug your solar in there also has a cigarette lighter adapter same thing right plug it in but you do want to make sure if you use the cigarette adapter that the cigarette light adapter is working on your car some of the cars nowadays of course you turn them off and the engine off and this stops working so while you're charging it you'll want to double check that it has two USBs, says five volt right there, and a USB-C right there, which just says 18 watts. It also has two appliance plugs plugins for your ACs, and it has a small hole holes here that you can plug in your third plug if you need to. I don't think it's grounded, but there it is. So you can plug about anything you want into. Along, of course, it's 110 and under 300 watts. Push the power button. And the power comes on. And you can see the LED screen. Tells you the DC and the USB. Of course, it's not plugged in, so nothing's happening at the moment. You don't need a switch to turn these on, which I think is kind of neat. But you do for the AC. So you take it as a switch right here. And just a moment, the fan comes on, and then it says AC. You can now plug these in. Any electrical devices you'd like, turn that back off. Also, another interesting little feature is the fans are on the side. I like that, fans on the side. Because this way you don't have to worry about putting this back against the wall. And where normal fans are in the back... It's going to block the airflow. That isn't going to happen on this one. But on the back, there's a light. Regular light. Flashing light. Okay, folks, I'm now going to show you how the pass-through works on this little engine star. Okay? So first of all, remember, this is the input. And we're just going to plug that in. Now we're going to take the cord, plug it into the wall, and it comes on, shows that it's charging. Here's a tower. It's an Arctic Air. I like these. They work really well when it's really hot. You don't want to use a lot of electricity, but it doesn't like a modified sine wave. My house is connected to a 8,000 watt modified sine wave, and this does not like it. You can tell from the sound it makes. So what I'm going to do is use this engine star to pass through. The engine star doesn't mind a modified sine wave coming in from the wall, and it turns it into pure sine wave, because this is a pure sine wave. You can see the AC right there. Take our plug for our Arctic Air. Plug it in. It is now plugged in. Going to turn it on. It 
and it shows how much the Arctic air is using, 27 watts, and how much is coming in to charge this device. So now my tower here is running off pure sine wave and recharged with modified sine wave. And as of my testing so far, this little thing doesn't care if it gets recharged with modified, if it gets recharged with solar. It seems to be happy with all of it. And that's how you use and set up the pass-through. And that's one of the reasons I bought this, is I have a few things, mostly this tower, but a few other things that likes pure sine wave. And I'm just going to use a pass-through and make this work. Okay, so I use it to boost up my system when I need power, when the power goes out and I need it temporarily, or when I need something to do a flow through energy, which we demonstrated. Here's the one input. These others are the outputs, power, LED, and the switch, which turns these on. Remember, you get two cords. And I think this is really good at a relatively low price. This cost me around $150. I will uh, put a link down there. Remember, check these things because they do, prices do change. Once again, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments. And if you like these type of videos, of course, like, subscribe, and share. Shoestring out.